What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you're looking at a cool one I enjoyed here. I found this online. Uh, a couple people I think have done videos on this. It's, it's probably already hit anomaly sites but this whole area looks like an area that's just been... Uh, all these blocks have just been tossed here you know like either under it you can see how the sands kind of buried up on it it looks like a monument something that was here it looks like it's had all sorts of wind hit it uh, sand hit it debris possibly water because um, if you follow my channel you know about the clouds on Mars you know about the water standing water in the lakes so we, we were pretty much sure that it if not now there was time where there was rain on Mars uh, probably a lot of rain as you can see also a lot of flowing water as they've already found NASA's already came out and said that they had flowing stream beds up there so I mean they're pretty much telling us that life was there and uh, we know that if there's water uh, if, if we're looking at the evolution like it was on our planet that possibly water's there um, you know life would be too but I, I'm not necessarily one to believe you have to have water to have life um, you know, or you have to have the exact conditions here on Earth to sustain life elsewhere. Maybe if we were to go in our bodies, but not, uh, you know, not maybe evolve out of another circumstance, what could evolve out? You know, I mean, I, I believe life might be one of the constants in the universe. Um, but that's just my thoughts, you know. Um, so I've got these pictures here, and I'm gonna show you where to get them. I got three of them because they're. Uh, oh, there's my thumbnail. That's how I make my thumbnails. You see all these layers. <laughs> that's all the videos I've done. Look at all those layers I've got there. Um, behind the scenes at what's up in the sky .com. late night it's Friday night at uh, 1 45 a.m. so tomorrow we're off work so I'm not going to work not to worry about it I can stay up making videos for you guys I don't know when I'll put this one out though because I got a long weekend so I might just save this one because I already put a couple out tonight but uh, so let's take a look at some of these this is debris gets up a little bit closer so you can we can actually take a look at some of these and uh, the ones that really interest me is this one over here um, that seems to have very symmetric uh, blocks to it and also it seems to be just being held up by nothing back there see how it, I can't tell if that's just the uh, way it looks and that just might be how it looks but we're gonna get to the bottom of that and also it seems to be a top of a statue with a, a, a I mean that looks just like an Egyptian head with eyes, nose, and a mouth, or like a, uh, a Mayan head, or, or something you'd find on a uh, an island somewhere, staring out at the ocean. Um, pretty neat, I must say. You might have to look through it now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where it is. All right, where are we here? Let me get my keyboard. I should have had all this on before I started. Um, there we are. Bingo. It's from Saul Four. 16 if I remember yeah 416 so you go to Saul 416 come down here and you come click your let's see there's all sorts of you want to look at the other ones up close there's some other of these up close too if you want to get them um, but here's you just click on it and then get the full resolution right there download it to your computer save it so you can show all your friends and uh, let's go back to Photoshop let's do this little trick I've been doing lately I, uh, usually you guys watch my videos I go auto color which gives you like the the broke down color of it now I've been lately I've been using this uh, this thing over here this is the uh, the calibration the color calibrator let's see if we can't use this on here image auto um, see I do my videos I like to I don't just do the Photoshop and have it come in without music I like you guys to come and see how I do this so you guys can do this for yourself and uh, See how everything looks much more metallic now? That's that's the calibration tool that they use um, to make the false color videos that they do, or to make the false color ones. This is what it would look like if it was here on Earth. And uh, it looks a lot more like uh, a worked metal when it does this, or it, it definitely looks more uh, clean. It doesn't have that real, real uh, sandy look to it with that, that Oh, what's the name? What's the word that they use for it? It's like a chalky color, but it's a, it's like a yellow chalk that's over everything. Um, but look how this just pulled this out. Look at that back there. Look how perfect that symmetry is on this block behind it. Um, it actually looks like there's something in on top of it. Maybe like this is some sort of box. Look at that. See how it comes down to a perfect 90 degree angle? Down to another perfect 90 degree angle. Up to a perfect 90 degree angle. And on top there looks to be um, something going on. Let's see if we can't pull this up a little bit more. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me step backward. Let me just do the auto color on it and see what happens. Let's see if it pulls out. It looks like cement, but yeah, it's there. You see that? Um, 
I think you can see it, see some of the stuff it, it, with the uh, the way you did it last time. With let's see, edit, step backwards. Let me do this one more time here. Um, image adjustments. So you guys are gonna be pros at doing this, right? Or what am I doing here? Okay, where am I? All right. <laughs> not, I'm not even a pro here. What the hell am I doing? Uh oh, uh oh. Here we go. Um, match color. There we are. Bingo. Jeez, it's getting late. Here we go. So you can. Oh yeah, I like. See, I like it because it pulls out. Like you say, it definitely looks looks a lot shinier. <laughs> Look at this. You can see the eyes a little bit better. I definitely think that looks like a face to something. It looks like it's been cut off. It looks like it was on a wall. You know, like this would have just been flat, connected to a whole piece right here, been connected to a wall. Um, who knows though? Like I said, I could. My eyes just could be matrixing this all. Sometimes I I wonder, but that's what we do here. I see what I see. You see what you see. I see another little perfect block right there. Like I said, this place just looks like everything got torn, thrown up. See this right here? This little, this little statue thick thing. We're gonna see that on the other pictures. So let's scoot over to this one. And this one's the the wide view here. And this one's a cool one. I like this. So let's do uh, auto color. Um, let's see. And this is cool because we're really gonna get a look at the uh, look at all the, now. Look at all the, the what I do is I take in the whole scene here and see okay what are the odds of all of these blocks being cut at perfect angles and you know when it comes to have these perfect bezels bevels and have another one up here with the perfect thing and what looks like has writing on it and stuff like that um, more and look at this here you've got more look at this shape more of this shape looks like it would belonged on top of something. Um, the rock over here has the same thing. Look, at there's a shape cut into this. Um, this comes out. <laughs> I must, I'm not going to say what that looks like. <laughs> we keep this G. You like my G? It's probably backwards. Um, but let me see if I can't pull that back out again. See how grainy they make these photos? I just, like I said, this is like a million dollar rover millions and millions of dollars went into this rover and it's grainy damn pictures excuse my language it drives me nuts um, these should be crystal clear every day I mean this should this should be crystal clear um, look at these rocks down here I didn't even get a chance to check them out let's see if do the other color again very interesting they both seem this this seems smoothed out and it seems to have some uh, shapes on it you can't tell if that's the uh, the JPEGs. See how the JPEG stuff usually moves up and down, though. So this looks like a circle on there. So, for what it's worth, this here looks like more of a statue. Just seems to be rounded off in the back. See, this is what I see. Just like a random rock. You might not see that as a random rock, but like that's random. The randomness of it. Some of the stuff just looks way too not random. <laughs> like this stuff, you know, where you got these angles. It's perfectly turned. Um, perfect 90 degree angles on this block right here I mean this is pretty cool and it's just sitting there like it's ready to tip forward on us more here this is just like I said this was the one up here that looks like the big head um, you, like, you can see it looks like it's got a helmet see it even looks like it's got a helmet on it back here see how it comes down and comes up back behind it it had this other block it's hard to see from here but you can see it's definitely that perfect square um, when it was much up close on the other video or the other picture here was definitely better um, these are just some interesting looking things here. This kind of looks like a mask. And this here, this this is interesting too. You know, I wonder what this one looks under the. Uh, I think that one was just. Let's see. Let's go here and do the match color. Yeah, that's cool. It definitely seems like it's got like a little mouth, two eyes, and then just like a. Uh, Blinds going across the top, so they call those blinds. Man, definitely when you use that other color, that thing definitely makes it pop. And it looks like everything turns to like that real color metal. Like I, I believe this is more the real color of what's going on up there. Um, you can see how the new Rover pictures. This wasn't received. Didn't seem like it was like this as much. Look how they put in this green and purple in all of it. I'm sure you can see it when you get up real close. You can really see it. It's like it. It actually diffuses it, and it comes out and. It, You'll see even when I uh, take it out, it's still there. See how, it, but it confuses everything. It brings everything in. I'm wondering if that's got to be put on there on purpose. I mean, my iPhone works much better than this. I mean, come on. Um, 
So let's look, take one more look. There's one other picture here. Let's take a look at this over here because this seemed to have different layers. See where it definitely looks like it's cut, and it looks like it's just been chopped off something. Like every something just whapped and bam took everything out. Um, this stuff just looks like it's worn. Whatever it is, years and years of just sitting out here could just be rocks. You know this stuff right there. But over here seems to have interesting. This kind of looks like where the quarry was, where they got some of this stuff out. Um, looks see the cut mark in here almost looks like cut marks see this right there you can actually see the marks from what looks to be like a saw mark in there let's see if we can get a little bit bigger image auto color like that okay I mean look even just without even doing the calibration stuff look I mean look Photoshop you just hit auto auto color and it knows that that color shouldn't be there that mucky color but anyway guys I'm gonna let you go with this one it's like I said these are pretty cool this more civilization more blocks here look you know here's another one right here no maybe I won't let you go yet let me look at this another perfectly squared block on that back end there alright so what would the odds be look at this as a triangle block what are the odds that there's gonna be this perfectly squared thing you know around it off looks like part of it a uh, part of a long tube or not tube but like part of a cylinder um, you know, look at this symmetry here. Look at how it's been cut. I mean, look how shiny it is. It's been cut. You know, it definitely looks like it. it. Looks like stuff's growing on it. It actually looks like it's been rained on and for years and years and years. And it's got the uh, uh, I forget the name of it right now. Growing on it. Um, somebody, somebody, uh, one of my subscribers will tell me. I see it. It's on the tip of my tongue. I just watched it on Ancient Aliens last night. It was totally they were talking about the stuff on top of it. Something I definitely should know, but. It's late, guys. Much love. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, like I said, uh, comment. Let me know what's going on. Check the link for the descriptions. You know it's going to be there. And you can always click the link and go right to it. Download it yourself because that's why I make these. I want you to have a collection too. So if these ever disappear, there's a whole bunch of us with this information. So much love. Take it easy. Peace.